Greetings, heroes and adventurers, sword slingers, and spellcasters. I am the Ancient Gamer, and today we are looking at Skyrim Special Edition on the Xbox Series X. Now, when you're playing Skyrim, have you ever wished that you could give the game a makeover, maybe a little bit of a facelift, um, possibly just make all the NPCs in your player character look better, a little bit more next gen, or maybe just a little bit less uh, fugly? Um, well, I've got the two mods for you. This uh, today we're looking at two mods called Divine People All in One and Divine Skin. They're made by the same mod author Tarshana, and essentially what they do is it's two mods you install, and it takes care of everything. It does all of it for you. I'm not talking about trying to to show you how to craft the most complex and nuanced load order, and to get the ultimate. In, in you know completely tricked out characters and NPCs I'm talking about two mods that will give you excellent looking characters with just by installing these two mods divine people all-in-one contains almost everything you need it contains hair eyes clothing um, divine skins contains bodies uh, skin textures um, a new fresh look and you know f uh, fundies for your characters and th the whole thing so you know, I really like these mods a lot they make your life a lot easier um, they're particularly good for the Xbox because Tarshana makes mods for the Xbox not for the PC and then port it over but she makes them for the Xbox so they run really well the file size is always nice and small and you know especially if you're an Xbox modder they're they're gonna work they're made specifically custom made for you so anyway sit back and enjoy we're gonna take a look at divine people all-in-one and divine skins Okay, so as far as getting Divine People all-in-one overhaul for the Xbox, all you need to do is go to Bethesda.net and search. I searched Divine Skins and it brought up everything I needed right here. Now, one of the first things you'll probably notice is that there's two versions of each mod. Um, with Divine People, I use Divine People Celestial because it includes imperious races of Skyrim it's it's integrated right into divine people and I really like this mod too it basically just uh, uh, makes all the races of Skyrim unique and diverse it overhauls the racial abilities powers and stats it, it makes the races more like they are in oblivion and I really like that so I use divine people of Skyrim celestial version um, in terms of divine skins the only real difference is this one has the beast races this one does not so let's say you are really crazy about this mod that uh, that has a specific beast race texture for like Argonians or Khajiits you can use that one and use this divine skins together but I think you'll really like the divine skins um, Argonian and Khajiit textures anyway that's the one that I use so let's take a quick look here at divine skins and what it contains which is basically a better question is what doesn't it contain um, it really has everything in it it's got uh, something called imperious perms which I can only assume is 70s style Mac Davis perm hair um, I have not identified that mod in there but I as she says it's in there um, it retextures and redesigns 300 NPCs that makes them look way better 60 plus lore friendly hairs a vanilla hair retexture to make it look real nice um, you've got better character presets in the race menu so it makes it a lot easier to create a zooty looking character um, new makeup colors um, she makes it to where you can take and you can have human skin tones for any of the other races so you can make an orc with human skin tone or an elf with human skin tone um, the children are overhauled the clothing's overhauled and there's a lot of other little tweaks in here too like the fact that with merchants merchants end up she ends up giving merchants more cash so that you don't have to like you know fast travel around the map just to sell your extra stuff um, divine skins you want to load this one right below divine people always put your skin mod below the character overhaul um, and this is designed to work perfectly with divine people um, which means you won't get any neck seams or wrist seams you know everything will fit the skin will fit the bodies perfectly and it'll all fit the overhaul it's just it's it's really slick okay and what this includes is the skin the, the skin texture by Tarshana and also uh, a UNP female body 
um, and a newer, hunkier male body, a little more muscular. Um, uh, both uh, male and females get better underwear, kind of like a velvet, uh, you know, loincloth bra and panty sort of thing. Uh, looks way better than vanilla. Okay, the other thing I wanted to show you here was uh, Tarshgaming.com, which is Tarshana's modding website. Now, a little bit about Tarshana. Tarshana is sometimes called the modest because she's such a, you know, a, a kick-ass mod author. She's really, really good. She makes incredibly good mods, and the really neat thing about her mods is that they are all designed for the Xbox. They're not PC ports. They don't exist on the Nexus. They're not made for PC. They're made and optimized specifically to run on Xbox consoles, which is, is awesome. She might be the only mod author out there of any note that does this. And it, it, you know, I can't tell you how much I appreciate, appreciate that. The file sizes are always as small as they can be. And, and her mods work and, and generally will not cause crashing unless you combine them with something you shouldn't combine them with. But the Tarsh Gaming website is a real resource. Okay, so now I think the next thing we're going to do is go take a look at some direct comparisons between Vanilla Skyrim and Skyrim with Tarshana's Divine People. Here we have Svelda the Sword Maiden doing business in solitude. And uh, this is Vanilla. And she looks pretty good. Um, a little bit on the maybe the mean and taciturn side, but uh, not too bad. Um, this is lore friend this is superior lore friendly hair. Now this is divine people. And as you can see, this is a big improvement. You know, her eyes, um, you know, in a great comparison with Divine People, the hair from Divine People and Superior Lore Friendly Hair, Divine People kicks it up even a notch over Superior Lore Friendly Hair. And here's the shopkeep, the, the Elven palace, shopkeep from uh, uh, Solitude there in the clothing store. Definitely incredibly fugly. And here she is in Divine People. Um, I would say the hairstyles maybe a little bit too much like The Sims for me, but still a big palace, improvement over over the travesty that, that we just saw walk before us in the vanilla version. Um, and let's see here. Here's some random merchants there in the, in the market square. As I Baldy McBaldy. And the old crone vegetable uh, merchant. And here we have another merchant, Baldy again. Now to divine people, and you can tell there's definitely been a large improvement in the textures, and just the faces are much, much better. And uh, there's the old crone again, the vegetable merchant, and she's kind of now a hottie for her age, and that's 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 pretty good. As High Priest of the Eight Divines, I bid you welcome. And now we have Lydia, who's sworn to carry your burdens. And apparently a couple of burdens of her own. And you see, every major NPC overhaul will have their own unique version of Lydia. And this is the Divine People version of Lydia, and it, she really looks excellent. You know, she looks pretty badass, but she's, uh, you know, definitely kind of a beautiful warrior woman, and that's pretty nice. Now here we'll take a look at the vanilla Khajiits. I have no business with you. And Leave this me. wasn't the best shot I could possibly get for comparison's sake, but here's Divine People and Tarshana's Khajiit textures and, and skins, which I think are really, really good. I'm a little busy at the moment. Vanilla. I've got all sorts of errands to run. And then Divine People. Big, big difference. Much better. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm a little busy at the moment. I've got all sorts of errands to run. I've got a little work if you're interested. Hey, what and now we have the vanilla street urchins of Skyrim. But he wouldn't tell me why not. Pardon. I've got weapons for given. Hey, wanna play tag? And with divine people, now suddenly they all look like they're not neglected anymore. I thought adventurers and they have, you know, decent parents who take care of them and, and groom them. Hard. 
probably give him a toothbrush. All right, now here are the undies and the body, uh, the female body mesh and textures. This is vanilla. Um, you know, it is what it is. And, oh, here we go. Huge difference with Divine People. The skin is so much nicer and cleaner, and, and, and yet it's realistic. Um, the body's much better. And then the fundies, red velvet fundies. Those almost look like they probably are soft to the touch. And that hair. Definitely the hair looks really good. Okay, now we're on to Tarshana's Divine People race menu. And as you can see, the presets are all really good. Definitely it gives you a better starting point for creating a cool looking nifty character of your own. And many, many more choices as far as like hairstyles and hair colors and, you know, whatever your taste is, whatever kind of character you want to create, you'll have a much better chance uh, of doing that with the race menu as it stands here in Divine People. Those Argonians are so good. Lots of hairstyles. If you want maybe the smoother, slicker, prettier ones, or if you want the more red, rustic, you know, traditional vanilla Skyrim hairstyles, they all look better than they do with vanilla, but they're all there. You can create virtually any kind of character that you want here. Okay. You're pretty. I'll give you that. Just stay away from my husband, Alvar. Looks like we have the blacksmith's wife there in Riverwood. You're pretty. I'll give you that. Just stay away from my husband, Alvar. And see the way Tarshana has done it. And then here's here's of course the Riverwood Trader. Is still open. Feel free to shop. And the sister, Maybe boy, she just looks like into my pig -headed brother. she's really got an unfriendly look to her. <clears throat> Wait till you see the sister. Big improvement. Much better. She's actually sort of comely at this point. And here's uh, Tarshana's Khajiit. May your bed be warm. Textures. And your food sweet. And skins. And they just look amazing. I think they look really good. Why you would want to run, uh, you know, the, the no beast races option and, 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 and no substitute for different well met, Kaji textures, I'll, I'll never know. Hers are really good. You know and here are the denizens of Whiterun Vanilla. There's Carlotta. You tried mercenary work? Might Looks like she's had a tough life. There's Carlotta now with Divine People. Very nice. Very big improvement. And you see, it's not like she made all these people look like models. I mean, they still look like they live in Skyrim. They're not, uh, you know, they don't look runway style or anything like that, but. They definitely are, you know, a little more pleasing to the eye, and just generally speaking, overall more attractive, but also better rendered. Now here, I sold this huge difference. Look at I sold it, and I sold is supposed to be sort of uh, fetching. That's not fetching. That's fetching. I sold a, I sold a, I sold a mammoth tusk. About the same as everyone else. They're the cat folk of elsewhere. Great warriors, good traders. And we'll take a few minutes here to go into, here to go into uh, Riften. And there's Majol the Lioness. And some of the townsfolk here. Notice the freckles. That's another feature of Divine People. Where they are freckles that you can use. You can put those on your player character, or you'll encounter them on NPCs. I think she has freckles too. Yep, definitely. Visiting that's a nice looking dark elf Only and I'm not even talking like hey that's a nice looking dark elf I'm saying that's a really well rendered dark elf 
If you're looking for a handout, you want to speak with my husband. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's divine people. Um, if you're not sold, uh, then I'm guessing that your eyes must not be working all that well. This is a huge improvement on vanilla Skyrim, and it's just really easy. Two mods, divine people, divine skins, install them, walk away, you're done. You just gave everybody in Skyrim a makeover. I am the Ancient Gamer. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video or found it useful, please make it happy. Give it a like. It really helps. Looking for more of a long-term commitment? Subscribe to the Ancient Gamer channel and ring the bell. It always feels good. Remember, it's all about the games we play and love and love to play. It's all about the games. Thank you.